Hi everyone, my name is Rafael Cordeiro. I work with martial arts for 28 years. And now we're gonna start sharing knowledge with you guys about all fighters, all UFC fighters. And I wish you guys enjoy. I have experience with Muay Thai, I have experience with Jiu Jitsu. I'm working with a lot of famous fights in the world like Fabrício Verdun, Rafael dos Anjos, Jake Ellenberg, Lioto Matida, Vanderlei Silva, Benny Darius. So have a great fight over here in South California. And I wish after this video you guys to learn a little bit more about not just punches and kicks but about martial arts. We're going to start now with breakdown about UFC fights. So I'm going to show for you guys my vision about the fight, my opinion about the fighters and what the guys need to do to change the game. So Saturday we had fight between Hobby Lauer and then Johnny Hendricks and uh, I saw a couple details and I want to share with you guys. Make Maybe you can make a difference in your game. So I wish you guys enjoy and check this out. I want to introduce you guys my my fighter, Benil Dariush, his UFC fight. He just fought one month ago, he submitted Charles Brennan in the first round. And uh, one minute of the fight, he knocked Brennan out and choked. He just started right now, but uh, have a lot of future inside the UFC. He want to fight in UFC in Abu Dhabi and uh, one of my new generation champs. And uh, he's going to start show with me everything about breakdown. So check this out. First of all, in the fight, two south poles to South Poles. And uh, it's really hard when you fight against South Pole because it's total, totally unpredictable what happened. But at the same time, you expect for always hard left hand. In my opinion, they push a lot for boxing fight. It's, they mix a lot of punch, punch, back and forth punch. And a lot of times in short distance, what you can do, work your elbows to, to change a little bit this game. You can be predictable. You need to change your game all the time. So in short distance, sometimes when you keep punch, 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 you can move his head, pull and throw kicks. You can move his head, pull and throw knees. You can just put in your mind you're a boxer or put in your mind you're a kicker. You need to start mix it up both. In my opinion, this fight, if they put a little bit more different game, push a little different, take off the box and put a little bit more offense things from Muay Thai is for sure was the difference for this fight and uh, great fight one of the best fights of the of the night one of the best fights of the year but in my opinion they never change the game they keep exactly the same plan since the start of the fight to the end so in my opinion short distance for example I'm here with Benny he started and uh, I like to x-ray my game. He know after five rounds you have to, we have a you are close in five rounds. He knows what I'm gonna try to do. So he can feel my movements, he can feel I drop my head. Sometimes what he can do, he can throw punch, make I move my head, and then throw his kicks. It doesn't matter right or left. For now he's gonna throw his right kick. So he's gonna make I move my head, boom, in short distance high kick. He wanna make it, he wanna throw his left. As soon as I move my head to the side, he wanna throw his high kick. It's make different the fight. Fight for the belt, one little detail make different. For example, close fight to the end. One take down, make totally different, in my opinion, for this victory. In my opinion, Hobby Lau, he fought very well, but he don't throw he throw zero kicks. So when you throw zero kicks, it became a totally predictable. So I expect for, for one more fight between both, because it was a close fight. But for the next fight, I wish something uh, more dynamic, not just box, box. But I think it can change the game, put a little bit more details in the days, in day games. What do you think, Ben? I agree. Uh, Robbie Lawler has great kicks. He showed against uh, Bobby Volker. He was landing a lot of strong kicks, a lot of knees too. But in this fight, he only used his hands. It could have been because he thought Johnny Hendricks has uh, great takedowns, so maybe he was trying to avoid the takedowns. But you know, after the first, second, he didn't get taken down. He should have started opening up his game so he can land, land some of the more devastating things. And his right hand, he should have used more right hand. That's actually what he was able to hurt Robbie with in the third. So those were the things that I saw. Let's do next coming up. Maurice Shogun against Dan Henderson. Check this out. 